Hello. Oh, it's been so busy lately here in the big harbor. Well, I decided to sleep here tonight. Uh, that way, I'll be ready in case anybody needs me. Oh, I, I don't mind sleeping here. Actually, I kind of like it when the, when the harbor's all dark and quiet. <laughs> you know, there was a time, long, long ago, when I was afraid of the dark. You ever been afraid of the dark? Our friend Hank certainly was. That's a good story. It was nighttime in the big harbor. One by one, the lights went out. The bigger tugs all said good night over on their side of the dock and went to sleep. Now Theodore and Hank stay on the other side of the dock because, well, they're smaller tugs. Good night, Theodore, said Hank. Good night, Hank, said Theodore. But don't let the dock bugs bite. Dock bugs? What are they, Theodore? Oh, they're just things that float under the dock at night, said Theodore with a sly little smile. Theodore was soon asleep, but Hank, well, Hank stayed up just a little longer. Dark bugs, he said to himself. I didn't know those were out there. He nuzzled closer to Theodore. It felt so good to have his friend right there beside him. And soon, he was fast asleep. The next day, the dispatcher sent Theodore to the repair dock for his regular tune-up. Hank went along to say goodbye. Do you like getting your tune-up, Theodore? Asked Hank. Oh, sure, smiled Theodore. I always feel brand new after I'm all cleaned up. Well, how long will you be gone? Continued Hank. Oh, a couple of days or so. A couple of nights, too, huh? Said Hank in a shaky voice. Sure. Well, can't you sleep in our dock? Said Hank. Of course not, said Theodore. I'll be up in the special dock. Well, we're here. See you later, Hank. See you later, Theodore, called Hank in a soft voice. Soon enough, bright, sunshiny day turned into a dark, moonlit evening. And soon enough, it was time for the tugs to say goodnight. With Theodore gone, Hank had no one to say goodnight to. Goodnight, Hank said to himself. Don't let the dark bugs bite. Who's there? said Hank. There it was again, that, that, that scary sound. Dark box, he whispered to himself. The words made his engine pound. Hank shivered a little, even though the water was warm. What's that? Oh, there was a scary shape right there. said Hank, nudging him. Are, are you asleep? Huh? Well, who? What? Mumbled Foda. Who's making all that noise? Grumbled George, waking up. Um, I'm feeling extra, extra, extra lonely, said Hank. Do you, do you want to tell stories? No, said Foda. Go back to sleep, Hank, hollered George. Theodore, Theodore? Hank had decided to visit Theodore up in the special dock. Oh, Hank, yawned Theodore. It's you. 
Hi, Theodore, said Hank, trying to sound very brave and cheerful. Then he couldn't think of anything else to say. Well, how are you? Asked Theodore. Oh, fine, fine, said Hank, just fine. Well, good, said Theodore. Well, good night, Theodore, said Hank. Good night, Hank, said Theodore. That was a very strange visit, he thought to himself. Hank, said the dispatcher, waking up. What's the matter, Hank? Can you please turn on the dock light, asked Hank. I just need it on. Okay, Hank, said the sleepy dispatcher. But please, try and sleep. As soon as the dock light came on, Hank felt a little better. But not much better. It was going to be a very long night. The next morning, all the tugs headed off to work. Hank? It was Fodok looking very serious. You know, you should not be afraid of the dark. I shouldn't, said Hank. This harbor is very safe, declared Fodok in a firm voice, day or night. Well, said Hank, things do seem less scary now. Precisely, smiled Fodok. And everything is exactly the same at night. It's all very scientific. Except, said Hank, the night is darker. Hank, said Fodak, frowning a little. Tonight, I will show you there is nothing to be afraid of. Tonight, repeated Hank quietly. Hank wished it would never be night again. But of course, as long as there is day, night will always fall. And once again, it was nighttime in the big harbor. Who's there? whispered Hank. Fodak floated over beside Hank. It's coming from right over there, said Fodak. Let's go see. Go, 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 go see, jittered Hank. Oh, 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 why? Oh, come on, Hank. Yes. Come on, Hank, said Fodak, pushing the jumpy little tugboat along. You see, it's just the waves hitting a creaky old board, said Fodak, shining a special light. About that, shouted Hank. He could barely look at the scary shape. Just an old pile of junk, announced Fodak. You see, Hank? There's nothing to be afraid of. Then how come I'm still scared, replied Hank. Fodak had no answer for that. He just turned and went back to his place. That night, every little sound made Hank jump, and each scary shape made him jitter. I'm really, really scared now, Hank said out loud, hoping the scary things would just leave him alone. Well, all Hank's noise woke the other tugs. Hank, try counting foghorns, called Emily. One, counted Hank. Two, three. Be quiet, Hank, grumbled George. Hank felt miserable. He tried. 
tried everything, it seemed, and he was more afraid than ever. Finally, Hank asked the dispatcher to turn on the dock light again. But it didn't really help much. Just then, Hank heard something. Something moving through the water. Yes, there was something out there. And it was coming straight towards him. Oh, no, thought Hank. Oh, this is the scariest thing yet. Oh, he couldn't even look. Hi, Hank. I know that voice, said Hank. He peeked out from under his hat. Theodore, it's you. Of course it's me, replied Theodore. I just got back from the repair dock. Why is the dock light still on? Oh, said Hank sadly. I'm just afraid of the dark. Oh, I used to be afraid of the dark, said Theodore. You, you were, said Hank. Well, what did you do? Hank was sure that Theodore was going to tell him to count foghorns or shine his light on things. You know, things that didn't work. Nothing, replied Theodore. I don't think I did anything. You didn't do anything, repeated Hank. Then, are you still afraid? Theodore looked thoughtful a moment. No, he said finally. I guess not. I guess I just grew up a little. Well, just hearing that made Hank suddenly feel much, much better. Theodore, do you think I won't always be afraid of the dark, too? <sighs> Probably, yawned Theodore. <sighs> Good night, Hank. Good night, Theodore, said Hank. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Dispatcher. Yes, Hank. Can you please turn the dock light off, said Hank. Sure, answered the dispatcher. Good night, Hank. Hank nuzzled closer to Theodore. It felt so good to have his friend right there beside him. Then the two tugs pulled their hats down and went fast asleep. Pretty soon, Hank forgot all about night lights, being afraid of the dark. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm very sleepy. It's time for me to go to bed. Oh, thanks for visiting us here in the Big Harbor. And we'll see you all again next time. And I don't need a nightlight. Ah. Oh. oh. Of course, I do need a pillow. This is my favorite pillow. It's so comfy. Good night. <laughs> Theodore, he's a tugboat and a friendly tugboat too. A friendly tugboat too. Oh, Theodore, likes to do the things that friendly tugboats do. Pushing and a pulling in the great big harbor in the great big it's so much fun, so many brand new things to discover. Waking with the sun, gotta get the job done. Oh, Theodore and Emily, Vodak, Hank and George, and the harbor master too.